Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be making the creature from the fly. So I'll just go through these materials. I've just got a wooden base there. This is a pin vise, which is like a little drill. Some wire there, that's 2mm aluminium wire. Some cutters for cutting the wire. And then this is a milliput, which is a two-part putty. I'll talk more about that later. And then this is a sculpting tool. That's the main sculpting tool that I use with a nice kind of flat blade sort of edge to it. So I started by drilling two holes in the wooden base with the pin vise and then I've just fed some aluminium wire into the holes, glued them in place and then I've just twisted the wire all around to create this very basic wire armature. This just acts as the basic framework for adding all the milliput and things to later but it also strengthens the entire figure from within. Aluminium wire is really easy to bend compared to steel wire. I did buy a whole load of 2mm steel wire as well, but it's much harder to bend. Next I scrunched a whole load of kitchen foil over the whole thing, just to get this basic overall form for the figure. This is really easy to do as well, but you have to make sure that the kitchen foil is really kind of firm. So press it in nice and hard, and if it gets too thin, just add more. Keep adding more, squashing it on until it becomes the kind of shape that you want it. It's just very basic, just normal kitchen foil like this. Next I'm going to coat the whole thing with a very thin layer of milliput. Milliput is a two-part putty. You mix the two parts together in equal amounts and it sets rock hard in about four hours. So you can see getting to this stage is very quick and easy. All you've got to do is mix the two parts of milliput together and you're just literally squashing it onto the foil, just a very thin layer and it's just coating it all and covering up the foil. This is Brundle fly that I'm making from the Cronenberg version of the fly. And um, this was the part played by Jeff Goldblum. This is from sort of towards the end of the movie where Jeff Goldblum is looking at his most mutated. So you can see here I started adding lots of nice kind of skin textures. This is just a case of adding more milliput and then just really working into it with the modeling tool just to create lots of uh, little kind of skin folds and little hollow bits here and there. You can see I've been working on the sort of the claw parts at the front here and um, I've done a little bit on his face but there's loads more to do. I would like to make the earlier version of the fly as well from the first film from the 50s and that has a much more kind of fly-like creature in it. Okay at this stage you can see that I've made two balls for his eyes let those harden and then I put them in place, glued them in place actually, and then I've added more milliput over the top to create the eyelids. The eyelids have got lots of kind of wrinkles as well and that um, kind of makes them look more realistic and fits them in with the rest of the skin textures. He's got his kind of little, they look like nostrils at the moment, but they're just two hollow bits that are going to have his kind of um, little antennae bits sticking out the front. I've done a little bit underneath his head there as well for his kind of mouth parts and still adding so I've added textures onto the legs now as well and I've also been adding the claws to the feet now his feet are completely different on each side so one has just got these two claws one on either side and then the other foot is a lot more kind of foot like with loads of uh, claws like three claws at the front and then one claw at the back as well the milliput obviously helps it to stick to the base as well. I'm not fussed about all the mess that I'm making on the base because the base is all going to be painted at the end. The other hand is just a kind of a stump at this stage, but I'll add some more kind of finger details and things to it. I did actually end up using my little rotary drill to kind of file down some of the um, claw and that kind of thing, just to thin it down a bit. You can see here I've started adding a lot of extra textures on his head as well. Loads of kind of bumps and things. It's just a case of kind of rolling a lot of balls really and kind of sticking them on and then just kind of getting them to smooth in at the edges. Um, and yeah, just you can add as many of those as you want. I think probably the more the merrier with this kind of thing. So this is him at his final stage where he's ready to be painted. You can see I've added a lot of extra details here. I've put his um, little mouth parts on which are basically just two long thin bits that go up into those holes that I prepared earlier. Um, they're strengthened with a couple of little wires as well and kind of glued in place as well as milliputted in. So that should keep them nice and strong. And then I've got loads of extra kind of folds and things on his neck here, loads of extra kind of pitting as well. 
lots of places basically for the paint to kind of go and sit in and also any bits that I've left smooth you can actually kind of texture into it as well with the paint you can see on the hand here I've added extra kind of finger like structures and lots of little folds of skin as well so this is him ready to go on his back he's got an extra leg as well that I've put on there and uh, that's going to make a difference on the base here I've put a whole load of kind of um, just gore basically bits that look like it's kind of fallen off him and I'll paint that up in the same kind of skin colours and things that I'll do the creature in this is that uh, extra leg that just sort of sticks out of his back it's quite a nice little extra feature I just really love sculpting all the little bits of gore and all the kind of skin textures and sort of mutation details it's the most fun bit um, but at this stage I'm just really looking forward to getting it painted so for stage one of the painting I've just covered the whole thing with a flesh colour this is just a mix of yellow ochre, white and cadmium red I'm using system 3 acrylic paints uh, this is just a really good way to start so sometimes I like to start with a dark base colour and then build up all my lighter colours but more recently I've been just doing sort of a mid-tone colour over the whole thing and then I've just been using a lot of wet washers to get into all of the little uh, cracks to fill up all the sort of darker spaces so you can see for the second stage I've just gone in here with a dark grey wash um, it's quite a sort of a pinky grey so I just used um, black and white tiny bit of cadmium red um, and a tiny bit of green as well just to make it slightly brownish uh, and I've just put that again I've just used it as a very very diluted wash so loads of water added and then when you put it on you can see it only just sinks into all of the darker spaces uh, all of the deep places and then all of the top surfaces are left light I will also be adding kind of pinker colors to this later on with dilute reds and then I'll be um, adding like dry brushing over the top so a much paler color to bring out all the highlights you'll see that in a second okay so this is how he ends up so you can see I've added quite a lot of the pinky colors again just added as like a sort of a very pale wash lots of like um, water added to that as well so it's just like little hints of color put over the top and then I've added some green onto his eyes there um, I've also painted the base green but you can see all of the lighter areas are all the higher up places so that's all been put on dry brush um, that's where you just get your brush get your paint on your brush and then you basically just dry it all off on a bit of kitchen paper so there's hardly any paint left and then you just dust that over all of the top surfaces so you can see that this combination of techniques um, you know where you use like some wet washes and some dry brushing over the top it all helps to really bring out all this kind of mutated skin textures um, I've also ended up painting his claws black um, both on his kind of uh, hand here but also on his feet his eyes were painted black initially as well before adding the green over the top and then I think it helped like painting the base green as well um, incidentally I did that because the DVD cover of the fly um, is green and I tried to use the same green for the base and I think that works really well kind of makes his uh, skin colors kind of stand out um, but I'm really pleased with all these kind of gory skin textures you can see here I added the bit on the floor I've painted that all up as well so it looks like bits that have kind of fallen off him um, Jeff Goldblum in the film just ends up losing like his fingernails and his teeth and all bits of skin and yeah everything just falls off him gradually and he slowly becomes this mutated creature I'm guessing if you're watching this video that you've probably seen the Jeff Goldblum version of the fly if you haven't seen it though I really recommend that you go out and watch it because it is one of my favorite horror movies of all time really kind of gory scenes in it but really good fun as well okay I'd like to thank Milliput for kindly sponsoring this channel check out my other videos if you get a chance because there's lots of different weird creatures from various movies um, many of which you'll recognize uh, hit subscribe to see anything that I post up in the future thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video